Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be reviewing the DYS Aria 35 amp ESC for noise and just check over its specifications here. So it is rated for 35 amps and it does not state a 40 and 10 second 40 amp burst so that's very good. But before we go into more details and the specs of this let's just see what it comes with. It comes with a ESC protector. DYS is well known for this though. I think most of their top tier ESCs will come with one of these. They do give you two extra heat shrink and one that's already on there. That's just awesome. And now let's just take a look at the board before going into specifications. Uh, they do have a heatsink, which is very good. That's awesome. Uh, they have a RGB LED, so if you like RGB LED, this will have an RGB LED, and it's right there. We do have current sensing, and we do also have a telemetry pad. Now, let me see if I can show you where that is right there. It's this pad right there. That is a telemetry pad right there. And the, below is the current pad, which is this one right here so that's like if you wanted to use something like the airbot pro uh corner flight controller which has a telemetry pad you can just solder those wires from in here to the um the telemetry pad on that flight controller so that's pretty sweet uh the amount of capacitors we have here is one two three four maybe five count that in six seven eight so wait, that's very good so it should be good i don't see any tantalum capacitors but I think it should be fine. And um, let's go over the specs now. So it does have a heatsink, which is very good. And the input voltage is 3 to 6S LiPo. So this takes 3 to 6S LiPo. And it has a 40 amp uh, burst for 10 seconds. So that's great. And it's rocking the ARM Cortex MCU, which is why we were able to run D Shot 1200. And we will be able to set this guy, uh, the, w the PWM frequency to 48 kilohertz on BL Heli 32, which makes them a lot smoother. And in this video, I will kind of show you how that actually makes it a, little, a lot smoother. It's it basically it's just the the processor is running a bit faster than usual, and it's keeping it in phase, so it doesn't have these weird glitches of voltage spikes and. Um, You'll see that right now when we're doing the noise testing in, in, in a bit right here. So firstly, let's just measure it. Let's see how much it weighs and then we'll put it on the bench and we'll just get started. All right, guys, let's quickly weigh it in. And the wires are pretty long and the website's stating it's like 4.7 grams. And here we are going to get eight grams. So it's eight solid. So let's just double check this. So we could say nine grams maybe a little yeah nine grams so it's nine grams with all these wires and they're giving you pretty long wires here uh they're all silicone so that's good and now let's stick it on the bench and let's get started Alright guys, so how did this one do? Well, actually this one did very good. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, it's it's on the same level as the AirBot, but just a tad bit um, not as good in, in the noise perspective, but this one held very well. And as I could see from the uh, testing that the, the phase was held together very good. So that reduces the uh, high frequency noise and it's, it's pretty... It's it's very, it's pretty clean actually. It's it's very clean. And now in the video, I know you just seen twenty four kilohertz and forty eight kilohertz. Now I've been talking about this and I've been testing this. Uh, ESCs do run a lot smoother and less noisy on forty eight kilohertz, which is the maximum uh, PWM frequency you can set up in BL Heli thirty two. So this setting is modified through the BL Heli thirty two software, and you cannot do this on the BL Heli S ESCs. Just the new ESCs that are rocking the the thirty two bit uh, software. Now, as you can see here, I'm going to show you a picture right now. Uh, in this picture, as you can see, that the phases on the right side, which is the 48 kilohertz, are much smoother. And then on the left one, when I do some kind of quick, you know, in and out throttle, it would kind of, you know, get out of phase and thus making those, you know, those amp rushes and those voltage spikes and, and all, the, all the things that you kind of don't want. 
uh, which is it's basic on on default it's 24 kilohertz and you could even drop it down to 16 kilohertz and make it absolutely worse so uh, that's something to note so i i find do maxing it out actually proves to be the best and it actually does make a difference and i could hear it in the motor and um if you could you should go try it out yourself if you have 32 bit ESCs, max out your pwm frequency on blh 32 and um you will notice a difference hopefully um i do see a difference i've seen a difference so far in the airbot rath 32s and the dys aria so this way you basically you can improve any 32 bit ESCs by just increasing the pwm frequency so that's very good so overall this esc is good i would recommend it um i have not test flown it yet i have four i'm going to be sticking them on a build soon um i have tested the current limiting function it's absolutely beautiful uh so that's good in that perspective power delivery it seems very good um i still have not finished the setup on testing the power delivery which is the esc latency of how fast it could provide the full amperage for the motor while staying in phase and we'll be testing other things such as uh, if low ESR capacitors do affect and all that kind of stuff. I'm still setting that up. I'm still trying to get good, um, stable, uh, consecutive data, which is just very consistent. So we can actually go uh, through the data and see something good and, and figure out what's good and what's bad. But overall, this is a good ESC and um, from the testing, it seems very good. I'll be sticking on a build soon and we'll be flying it. If anyone's used it, please let me know. Please let us know down in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And it would be so awesome if you could use my affiliates links. That would go a very long way. And yeah, that's it, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Now, see you next time. See you guys. Take care.